Welcome to this new episode of your weekly program, Games and Names. Our sport today is squash. And our game is called Egyptian Junior Squash Champion. So if you want to know more about her, stay with us. Squash is a racket sport played by two players in a four-walled court with a small hollow rubber ball. The players must alternate in striking the ball with the racket and hit the ball onto the playable surface of the four walls of the court. Squash is recognized by the International Olympic Committee and supporters are lobbying for its incorporation in a future Olympic program. In 2003, Forbes rated squash as the number one healthiest sport to play. My name is Nadine Hisham Ud, and I'm 17 years old, and I play squash. I started playing squash when I was eight years old. Uh, I played because my friend, uh, she told me to, to try out for squash. And um, I thought squash was like a gymnastic sport. But then I, I saw the racket and a ball, and uh, I wasn't uh, pleased at first. But then I was like into the game, and I love this uh, sport. Yeah. It takes time management and uh, confidence, and you have to be, uh, you have to have courage. Uh, you have to be everything. Yeah. You have to have mental strength, physical strength. Uh, my championship was um, in El Ahli Club, uh, Ahli Championship. I took second place. And I was playing against Habiba Muhammad. She's uh, uh, she's a world champion right now. Um, this was my first one. After my first championship, I was a bit disappointed. Uh, I really wanted to take first place, but um, I told myself to keep pushing and keep pushing, and uh, the time will come, Yanni, for me. I took squash seriously when I was uh, 11 years old, and back then I, kn I knew that I have I had to uh, be more serious about this uh, sport. So I started training every day since then. Uh, my most important results uh, was in uh, 2011. I took um, the Dutch Junior Open in Holland for uh, first place, and I took. The Pioneer Junior Open in Germany, uh, and um, and last year I took uh, third place in the British Junior Open. There, are, there are others, but I don't remember now. Playing in Egypt, you know who you're playing against. 
but outside uh, abroad you kind of don't know anything about your opponent and you just you just do your best and, we, and uh, see how your opponent is. it's it's like a new journey for you It's hard for me, um, other than playing foreign, uh, foreigners, you know, because Egyptians, I, I train with them every day, and I know how they, how they play their sport, uh, how they play their game, so um, we kind of know each other's game, so it's a, bit, it's a bit harder for you to be able to beat them, but when I play against a foreigner, it... Um, they usually aren't that good. We uh, Egyptians are like a a better a better level in squash, so we're good at at this game. It's harder to lose from an Egyptian uh, um, because you know it, she's my colleague and uh, and we get like there's like this competition and this tension between us and it's so intense so. If I lose, there, I, mean, I get like really angry. In between the match, between the games, you know, I, I am, I'm always stressed. 
So I try my best to keep my uh, to keep myself focused with coaches with, with what my coaches um, are telling me, and it's hard, but but you have to do this. You have to be focused, and you have to put yourself in in the game. So, uh, and if you're losing, you have to listen to them to tell you how to win, how to be able to get back on court. My most precious uh, championship would be uh, the British Junior Open, uh, which I took uh, third place last year, because it's like my greatest accomplishment this far, and uh, I really played well this um, in this tournament. So it it kind of gave me a push to to uh, keep on going, uh, to keep going on playing squash. Strong points are my. Uh, straight you know and my weak points like um in the front corner corners i'm a, a bit slow it's, it's not like slow because you know i had this injury it kind of um uh it kind of affected my movement a little bit um besides uh, the in court training we have to uh, have this uh, off court training uh, I, uh, I practice fitness with my coach, Hossam Shaddad, um, at, uh, at Stade Kohira. Um, and uh, uh, I practice gym, the machines, you know, and uh, footwork.
Um, my role model is Ranim Nuleli um, because she managed to be world number one and um, um, she's just so calm and she's just, you feel that she's so focused and like um, she, she knows how to play squash. She's like the best in it. And uh, she's such a professional. And I wish to be one day like her. Ronim managed to keep on going, uh, to keep pushing and um, to uh, beat Nicole's uh, number uh, because she has this compassion uh, for squash. She knows that she, uh, she won't quit. And she just loves, loves this game so much that she keeps pushing and pushing. And Absolutely on fire, finding all the perfect angles in the front corner. is a phenomenal misdirection from El Walili. We can see the roll of the wrist completely wrong footing. Out. Wrong footing Casey Hello. Brown. Well, lovely anticipation there from Casey Brown, but Renim El Walili answers back. Marvelous reading of the game. It was almost as if the Egyptian knew where the ball was Seven going before four. Casey Brown even hit it. Well, that is absolutely marvelous from El Walili, slashing the ball out of the air into the... A bit away to finish the game. That is just absolutely awe-inspiring. Renim El Walili cutting the ball off the servants. I managed to um, keep both my academic and uh, athletic, um, athletic career high by... Uh, by making this, by having this time management, and um, at school I don't usually go to breaks all the time. I go to my teachers to uh, miss to um, for them to uh, to explain me to me what uh, what I missed, and uh, uh, it kind of affected my social life at some point, but I. But my friends, like um, they, 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 under, they understand my situation, and they know that um, that this this uh, career needs like time. So uh, I'm thankful for what I have right now, and um, I have my friends, and uh, I'm thankful.
uh, I'm preparing for um, for uh, next year's uh, world champion and uh, the British Junior Open. Uh, I have other hobbies. Um, I used to play the piano for like four five four five years, but I stopped. But I keep on playing on my own. Um, and I um, I also love painting. I I paint. Um, on canvases, and I sold one painting. I would think of myself as a professional squash player um, because I, I chose this uh, lifestyle and I'm willing to uh, keep on going. And, um, I, I hope that one day I'll reach where I want to. Uh, I would give everything up. I would give everything up for squash. Um, um, I chose this, so any consequences I have to handle on my own. Uh, squash deserves to be in the Olympic, in the Olympic Games because uh, it basically involves everything. It uh, involves physical strength and mental strength, and um, you have to have speed, endurance, and um, uh, strength, and everything. I'm not usually, I'm not generally an uh, angry player. Um, of course, I sometimes had my moments and I shouted back at the ref uh, the referees. But I have we have to manage to keep ourselves focused because you know if you get angry and argue with them, you might get um, you might not get focused. You might lose the game at last. My hopes and dreams for my future would be that I. Um, that I reach my goal and uh, that I would be able to have like uh, a healthy life and um, to be able to, to continue on my squash career and to travel um, in the PSA tour uh, and that's it.